so much. Like, what? How are regular people supposed to be doing that? That's like, that's like Kim Kardashian with a credit card system for tweens. Really? Really? Really, Kim Kardashian? Really? And let me just tell you, let me just throw this out there. Anybody that follows the likes of the of certain people, I really, 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 I know a damn near 50-year-old female that admires Kim Kardashian. And Kim Kardashian, you know, whatever motivates you to be whatever you feel like better you is, you know, more power to you. But uh, Kim Kardashian has motivated her to speak more articulately. Good for you, 50-year-old person who follows a tidbit of a thing like Kim Kardashian who's giving credit cards to teenagers, oh, excuse me, tweens, are they like preteen? to teach them financial responsibility. Kim Kardashian is teaching to your children financial responsibility. Kim Kardashian. Financial responsibility. I have never seen more than one episode of the show and I can't remember the full episode of the show that I saw uh, other than it seemed like a really inappropriate relationship with her and her stepfather, but like I said, I didn't even watch the entire show. I watched a good 10 minutes of it, I think. I got stuck watching it. But the bottom... Okay, I'm not going to go there. I'm not going to go there. But let me just say, first, you got Russell Simmons convincing you that he's for the community with the rush card. So let me let me just... Let me just encourage my poverty-stricken people who can't afford to do to, to, ooh, ooh, it wasn't bad enough that he had $400 leather coats for you to buy when you try to make your, not even your mortgage, because you, you don't have a house, your rent, but he wants you to spend, um, uh, double what your rent would cost on a, on one of his, uh, his leather coats. He wants you to spend uh, a, a, a quarter of your rent money, which is significant when you're talking about the roof over your head. Uh, on one of his Argyle sweaters. Really? 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 Which leads me to Kamora, who is teaching fabulosity to the little girls. Really? You teach a fabulosity to the little girls. Her daughters are doomed. Her daughters are doomed. Or maybe they're just going to be just as happy-go-lucky as their mommy is on the gold digging tip. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, I don't care anymore. You know, I try to be, I try to tiptoe around it because, you know, I might have to encounter these people one day. But the truth is, is the truth. I mean, if you call yourself pole dancing for Jesus and you don't want me to call you a hoe, then maybe you should stop wrapping your JJ around the pole in the name of the Lord. <laughs> you know, and, and those females, um... I sat and listened to one of them say, and, uh, and we, 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 we were watching the uh, news clip. Cricky and I were just, we were, it was, it was, it's, it's breathtaking. I'm sitting here in, in, the, in the same breath that she is saying, our bodies are our temples. And the Lord wants them to treat us as, us to treat them as such, as temples. In the background behind her, there's one of her fellow gospel hoes in, uh, uh, platform host the letter. Church going women spin and slither around poles, but the instructor and students say it's not about sex. Platform host the letters. And mind you, they walk well in them. If you are if you are that dainty, my guess is that your first time trying on some heels, even regular size pumps, you gonna be a little wobbly in them. But they were strutting. I'm telling you, they were managing to to do laps around the pole in platform host stilettos. So they, it, okay. So you have on your your platform host stilettos, Daisy Dukes, and wife beaters with your arm just covered in tattoos. So how I knew it was a wife beater, who knows? Because that's how many tem t tattoos this heifer had standing behind her while she's saying our bodies are our temples. 
God gives us these bodies, and they're supposed to be our temples, and we're supposed to take care of them, and that's what we're doing. Tiffany Booth was raised in church. Now the pole is her temple. I do feel that's pretty But hey, you know, in their defense, maybe the ink was anointed. Mama say, Mama say, Mama kusa. So, anyway, how did I get off on all that? I'm here about the lash lies. It's gonna be have to have to be a different video. We lost in a mask, masquerade.